Good night, my mind and model maniacs. This is Panzerman Bill, Panzerman's Bunker. Coming to you with I saw update skin number four. Not number three and not number five, but number four. It was a one eye, one horn flying purple people eater. Sure looked strange to me. One eye. Of Joe makes model kits. Tank. Killer. Boop. Build. <laughs> bad day to be a tanker. Eh, fire bad. Fire bad. Alright, fellas, quick update ski. Let you know what I'm up to here in Zabunka. Yeah, yeah, let's go over to the screen. That's the screen, that's the damn screen, Bill. You're driving some people crazy with the screen. Eh. Alright, here I am, working on the gun barrel, making a slurry with tester cement, liquid cement, and Tamaya putty. You water it, I mean, put it over and turn it into like a liquid. You can paint, on, paint out your seams. Had to do it to the barrel, a lot of the muzzle brake, and down on the back of the uh, the slide. Trying to get rid of all them nasty seams. Still working on it right here. Just had to totally putty over all the whole back of the slide, a lot of the barrel. Very nasty seams. Here I'm working on the trunnion cradle. Very nicely detailed pack 40 in this kit. I know RPM gets a bad rep. This was a tough kit, but uh, this nicely detailed gun part. Y'all, yeah, y'all. Yeah. More of the same. Good detail. Here it is together. Like I said, it's nicely detailed for a pack 40 comparable. It's even better than the Tamiya one. I would put it right up there like, you know, a Dragon or an AFV one. Looking good, looking good. Same back here. One of the crucial areas when you build a gun, the place that always leaves a seam is right here where the two parts of the slide come together. So you gotta really putty in this trough. Right here if you want you want your kit to look good without having a nasty seam in it. And also the muzzle brake. People always do the exterior of the gun, but they never do the interior. And I'll let you know, I've been at several contests where the, the difference between a winning kit and a kit that doesn't win is someone that doesn't, you know, attempt to cover up the seam on the inside of the muzzle brake. Y'all, y'all, so watch your muzzle brake, your dirty little muzzle brake. <laughs> your bad muzzle brake. You're very naughty, hiding a seam. Yeah. All right, fellas, over to the kit. Hi, There she is, painted up. Got the casement all done, painted up and everything. I got the gun just sitting there temporarily. I still have to do all the shield and everything for the, the front part of the casement and everything. And then the gun uh, travel lock right here, but it's getting there. Getting down to the last little bit. I'll be doing lots of, uh, might, I might even do this in a camouflage instead of just all yellow. And then uh, do some weathering and everything, and she's getting near the end. But she's turned into a nice little kit. I'm really impressed with how detailed the uh, Pack 40 is. There she is, looking tough. It's a mod of on. On the Lorraine tractor chassis. Y'all, y'all. All right, well, I got you here, guys. I want to talk to you about the community. Seems like uh, we've been taking it on the chin. A lot of uh, hubbub and blow up and crap going on in the community, and I want to address it. First off, community is fellowship and helping out each other, not backstabbing, not talking to talking about a bunch of like little girls about each other. So, uh knock the shit off and let's act like men and enjoy this hobby a way to do that is to help each other out and participate like I said fellowship so there's group builds that are going on I suggest you get out there if you got some time help the brothers out participate you know some of these guys you know they, they put the they put the word out no one ever uh, you know one ever responds and I think that sucks all right, so we got current group builds right now. We got 172nd scale or smaller group build, which I'm in. This tank killer group build, which I'm in. Frankie Day's British Bomber group build, which I'm in. Kelly's Heroes group build, which I'm in. And then uh, you have your outside your comfort zone one, which I just finished. And then uh, Solving Abuse has started a Judge Dread painting competition. There's a Napoleonic group build going on. There's a Freddy Appreciation build going on. There's an Atomic Dog group build going on. 
And there's also a restoration group bill going on. I wish I could remember the guy who put it out there, but it's a restoration, you know, like old kits that you can fix up. And last but not least, one of my favorite guys on the tube, Made Mahler, has started a 500 subscriber contest and has had poor uh, participation. All it is is a recognition contest. You know, look at some photos, you write down what you think it is, and you send it off to his email. So go check out Made Modeler's channel. Look up his 500 subscription contest and just take the test, and it's fun. It doesn't require any long builds. You just look at some pictures, and you put in your guesses, and you send it to the guy. All right? Let's show some participation and fellowship out here, fellas. Stop acting like a bunch of, you know, naggy old women. Eh. That's my chastisement. <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> so till next time, this is Panzerman Bill, Panzerman's Bunker saying, Auf Wiedersehen, mein Damen and Herren. Woo! All right, Grendel. Thank you, He's a good boy. Grendel's tired of all the crap, too. Stop that like a bunch of gossipy old women. Yeah. Right, Grendel? <laughs> oh shoot, <laughs> almost got it. See you later fellas. Tschüss. Waka waka.